Good morning everybody, we are kicking things off with a little outfit of the day today and some very questionable hair. I, uh, I air wrapped it this morning and it's just one of those days where the air wrap is not air wrapping. I wanted like really big curls, you know? No, just not not happening. It's literally like a game of roulette with an air wrap, I swear. But anyway, I liked my outfit today, so I thought I would quickly show it to you. I've got a Zara uh, plain black body on with this Zara gilet over the top. Some of you might remember this from a few videos back. And then I have got, where are these from? Anina Bing. <laughs> these are my Anina Bing leather trousers tucked into my All Saints boots. I would not normally wear an outfit like this but I actually just really liked it today um, and this gilet is actually really nice um, for wearing around the house as like an extra layer. It's just, I think it's quite cool. I'm sure as it warms up and is no longer freezing outside I will probably also get a lot of wear of it outside the house like this as well. That is today's outfit of the day. Good morning Sniffy. Good morning. Sniffy is one of her new names. Um, I think it might be my personal favourite so far. Oh, you're so cute. So cute. Oh, you want a belly rub? Okay. <laughs> it's the paw for me. So I'm actually starting this vlog a little bit later. There has been a lot going on this morning and this afternoon. Like, we're well into the day right now. Um, and my brain is now slightly frazzled. We have a lot going on with Ryan's house. We have a lot going on with my house. Um, we're just generally trying to get through a whole working day. There's some other things going on as well. And I'm just like, my brain feels like it is going to explode. Not really the way I planned on starting this vlog, but here we are. Um, I thought we could take my mind off of the fact that my brain just feels so overwhelmed right now by going through some things that I have bought this week because I, I did some online shopping and I got really good at not just like, you know, buying all the things online. I got like, it doesn't look like it to you guys, but I actually had like not been shopping all that much. A few bits here and there, but like nothing too crazy. No giant Zara hauls, nothing like that. But this weekend I ended up on ASOS. I have bought a few things. That is not the only bag from ASOS that I've got. I've got two bags of stuff from ASOS. And I also have some other bits as well, which I'm really excited to show you. So I thought today we could just go through all of it and kind of style some bits up. So yeah, this is everything that I have bought this week. Do you ever have a day where you're just like, your hair's not doing bits, your makeup's not doing bits? I feel like I'm having one of those days like so if I'm like avoiding looking in your direction there's a reason. I was starting off with oh, I'm so excited about these I really really hope that they fit. I've got some green cargo trousers. I thought they actually look really nice with the outfit that I'm wearing. It would break up the all black really nicely. They're just like I love cargo trousers. I love just any pairs of trousers. I'm a big trousers girl. I think these would just look so good with so many things in my wardrobe, whether it's like white shirts, t-shirts, knitwear. I think they work really well with like the majority of my jacket. I've got a lot of wear out of my cream ones last summer, um, but they don't go with everything in my winter wardrobe, although I'm still getting like a good amount of wear out of them. And I have a black pair as well, which I love. I just think they're so easy to style up and they just have a little bit more texture to them than like a plain pair of trousers and a little bit more interest and I really like that. So my only thinking with these is I might take them off because I feel like they are a little bit long and they're less long if they sit higher on my waist but I don't actually think I want them to like sit up here. I think I want to wear them a little bit more like I would say for me this is mid rise. I don't know if that's actually legit but this is where my belly button is, so I think of that as mid-rise. I really like cargo jean, personally. I think I'll get a lot of wear out of this. Maybe not with the black body. I think I could probably do like a white body underneath and or something that kind of like matches this like shearling, faux shearling tone. Love a cargo trouser. I also picked up denim cargo trousers i am so annoyed i ordered like mango had some really good ones and they also had some really nice denim skirts as well like a whole load of stuff um and i ordered it off of mango and they keep doing this thing where and i don't know if anyone else has this because i literally put in my address manually every time to try and avoid this happening but they don't send the courier company my like 
house number and they just send the road and they don't give them any other details and then the courier company can't deliver to me and then I get an email from Mango like you didn't put your address in right and I'm like you dude you keep not giving them my house number so my mango order which i ordered like two weeks ago is still not here so i decided to try out some asos denim cargo trousers instead i wanted low rise because i don't know why i just wanted low rise the more we get into like crop top and like not body season and the more i'm wearing like racer back tops and tank tops and stuff like that the more i enjoy a slightly more low rise so i got these both in a low rise fit and i got one in petite and one not um just because i wasn't really sure sometimes asos petite denim comes up too short on me um and especially because it's low rise i wasn't sure how the length was going to be because i often go a little bit bigger than i sometimes need in a low rise i like them to sit like low so i then wasn't sure if i would size up and have them sit lower where the length would sit so yeah, got a couple of pairs um, and we'll just see what works. Well, don't know who I was kidding about these jeans thinking that I would fit into a non-petite version of them, but the petites are perfect. I will try and put all of my sizing information, by the way, for all of the items in this in the info box. As always, if you don't know, there is an info box. If you're watching this on mobile and you're like, what the frick is the info box? Um, by the title, you can like drop down and it has everything like i link everything please go ahead shop and enjoy because i spent hours and hours doing it now that i am a team of one but yeah i think this would look so cute with this cardigan which i've recently dug out i have just been loving wearing like more colorful items or like mixing in colorful items in with my very 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 neutral wardrobe this winter it all started with that purple scarf that i got from amsterdam and spiraling very very quickly i bought this a couple of years ago and i dug it out recently i actually found it still on sale if it's still available because i linked it in the last video but if it is still available i will link it in the info box below for you guys yeah the outlet is amazing for getting stuff like that was a year or two old um now if you want to get your hands on it it's cute done up but i think i would wear it like this with like the white uh vest top and yeah just kind of have it a little bit more casual i think that's really cute it's just like a nice easy relaxed outfit and the fact that the cardigan is a very girly color and like cardigans in general i just think are girly and um, it like contrasts the jeans and the trainers really really nicely very happy with these i think i'll get a lot of wear out of them denim is just always a good bet for me so yeah the petite and whatever size i will list below whatever size this is because it doesn't have a label so yeah if you're five foot i think you can just about get away with these five one five two five three get the petite uh anything over that i think you should be fine with the regular you know what would also look great with this look a bucket hat i cannot wait for bucket hat season again it's gonna be great i also got some backups of my favorite pajama bottoms because when i spoke about these i obviously spoke about them in the last video and i posted myself wearing them on my instagram stories and i didn't expect anyone to be interested in them at all they're just plain pajama bottoms and um yeah i really wasn't expecting anyone to ask for the link and i had so many messages like where are these joggers from and i was like um guys they're pajama bottoms from asos i quickly realized there was a lot of interest in them so one thing i always like to do with things like this is just pick up a couple of pairs myself just in case you guys make it so that they are never available ever again because these are literally like my favorite things to lounge around the house in and have been for like a good couple of years now i think i got them in like 2020 i was actually surprised they were still on sale i also got a denim waistcoat lots of you might remember last summer how much i loved my waistcoats and i thought this would be a nice one to pair both with denim to do like double denim but also i think with like my cream cargo trousers could look really cute it's um a lot longer than i thought it would be basically just very very oversized i'm not sure what size i got this in but i can't imagine i would have sized up i personally like my waistcoats to have like a tighter fit it's why the ones i have are like halter neck because they're generally made to be like a little bit more of a fitted like glam kind of vibe whereas i do struggle with the ones that are made like this they do seem to run a little bit larger in size yeah there's a lot of room around the chest just in just in general there's a lot of room and um, you can like tighten it at the back but it's just not really doing <laughs> very much uh extra for me maybe i'll send this back and get the smaller size because 
I think this could have been a vibe. Hear me out. Just hear me out. Oh no, it might be a bit big. I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay. <laughs> this. I was, I was about to say this is my wild card from the haul, but to be honest, there are a fair few wild cards in this haul. This is longer than I was expecting. However, I still feel like it's kind of cool. I like the way I have styled it, and this was the way when I saw it, I envisioned it styled, and I do still really like it. I stand by my decision. Um, I really like this way of styling it. I've just got my little over jeans on a white Zara tank. Um, and then I've gone for Converse, a little bit of a wild card for me, very bright and very colourful but I think something really fun for summer. So yeah, let me know what you think of this, do you hate it or rate it, I am scared but give me your feedback. Also I know this is slightly unseasonal but I just am already kind of like thinking forward to spring summer because I am so, so over the cold now. But to bring us back to the current season I also picked up this coat this week, I'm obsessed with this so I love the um, grey Prada coat, which I will not be buying because it's so expensive. But I saw this on House of CV and it's just everything. This is the softest, puffiest, most amazing coat. Oh, it just makes me so happy. Like, I honestly can't tell you guys how soft this is. And when I saw the price of this, I was like, really? Like, I, I don't know how I feel about this. When the coat arrived, I was like, yes okay fair enough on the price it was 169 pounds which like, isn't the most but when you think of house of cb like i know their stuff isn't cheap um and actually the, the quality of the dresses i've always been super impressed with um and i understand like the pricing but when i was like with this coat i just had never bought a coat from them before i really wasn't sure would buy again if I lost this, I would buy it again. I just love the fabric. It's so nice. I feel like a cozy, cuddly teddy bear in it, but without being like a fluffy teddy bear. It's really unreal. I could not recommend enough. I am a marshmallow. I love it. I'm so happy. I literally never want to take this off. It is just unreal. Now, some of you will have seen, I already picked up some bits in Zara this week. Please ignore the, it's not got the tag in it. It's just me being lazy and not having scissors to hand when I take the tag out of things. I got some bits when I was in London. I needed a jumper because I stupidly left my jumper at home. Oh, this has got hot chocolate on it. That's good. I've been loving wearing this. I'm super happy with it, but I also picked up some other bits. I also picked up just a little body, which I actually didn't end up wearing last week, but I just thought this would be a great one to have and um, just to pair with like various different bits in my wardrobe. I really liked the tone of this so this is the zara body i have no grand plans for this so i haven't really like styled it up like i'm going to style up the other pieces in this vlog so i've just paired it with my black cargo trousers and a pair of trainers but um yeah it just fits really beautifully i love the color of it and i thought it would be a really great piece to just have in my everyday basics wardrobe and i also got <laughs> this is i'm gonna look slightly insane um basically i met a girl the other day when i was getting my nails done called lara she's got a really cool instagram um and she was just so so nice i really vibed with her and um she messaged me and i just happened to see this as i was going shopping for these little bits when i was in london and um we'd been talking about the zara bombers and it was before mine had arrived that i bought from depop and i was like oh i just bought a couple i don't know if i'll keep both i'm not really sure i ordered both the colors and she messaged like saying oh if you do sell one on if you don't keep both let me know um, because i would really love one and when i went into the covent garden store to buy myself a jumper because i stupidly forgot my jumper there was one one single one so i bought that but not for myself i picked it up for her. and i'm actually getting my nails done tomorrow so i'm super excited to give that to her but yeah i've actually bought a few more things however they have yet to arrive so i will update you when they do there's a cardigan in particular that i bought and i'm so excited to get my hands on it i almost forgot i bought these <laughs> i actually bought these for fashion week and i didn't end up showing them to you though i did mention them in the what i wore in a week wow these look so crazy when i'm holding them up they don't look this mad and reflective actually like to the eye in real life it's so funny they're just kind of like a very like that that's how they look to me in real life if that makes sense so yeah i bought silver trousers and spoiler i love them i actually love them so i'm going to show you what they look like on um but these are from i got these in the sale i got these in the sale and they were so affordable um like the reduction was crazy these are from diesel so i think originally they were like 
few hundred pounds. Um, I think I got them like 50% off or something. It was crazy. They fit like a dream. I got a size, what size did I get? Where's the label? A size 25? I don't really know what that means. I don't feel like we have 25s in the UK, but I got these. They're a little bit long, but that's fine. I can make it work. And these are a skinnier fit. So I actually prefer to wear these with a heel um, as more of like a dressy statement item, if that makes sense. So this is how I have worn them. Uh, I feel a little bit crazy in these, but I also love them at the same time. I get away with these way easier in London. Like I wouldn't even blink wearing these out to dinner in London. Whereas if I was wearing these out in Brighton, I would feel a bit weird. The styles from London to Brighton, even though they're so close together, vary so much. Like Brighton is just super casual all the time. So I had a few DMs about these in my last video because I obviously mentioned silver trousers, but didn't fully show a silver trouser outfit. And that was just literally due to timing, lack of energy, lack of organization. <laughs> it didn't make it. So this is it. I wore the Zara cream bomber just to casual it down a fair bit, especially because I was wearing heels as well. This outfit just could kind of go a bit crazy if I hadn't gone for something super oversized on the top. So that is another one of my wild purchases from the last week or so. And um, this was actually more than a week ago, but I thought I'd include it anyway because I hadn't showed you guys yet. Yeah, there's been some slightly out there purchases for me lately. So some of you are gonna think that I've gone mad. Maybe I have. Those are the items that have arrived so far. I will update you as and when things arrive. But in the meantime, I need to go and sit down because my period pain is wild right now. Bye. Good morning everybody, it is Tuesday. I thought I'd show you a quick little outfit of the day before I finally go and get my nails done. I have actually not been this excited to get my nails done in a very, very long time. Um, but yeah, today's outfit is just a nice little casual one. From the bottom up we have the cowboy boots of my dreams. Uh, I think these are from Urban Outfitters. I love them and then we've got Holland Cooper, um, I think these are mom jeans, but they're kind of like somewhere between a mom jean and a straight leg, and I really like them for that. Um, I need to see if they have these in black, because I would love to have these in black. I've then got my Anina Bing t-shirt on, Zara Bomber, YSL Sunnies, Prada bag. So that is today's look, let's go. Hello. Wow, I look so pale, like 24 seven at the moment. It's actually, it's not, it's not okay. I realized I didn't show you my nails yesterday when I got back from having them done. So I thought I would quickly pop on and show you. I kind of wish I'd gone for a red all over. I haven't had a red in years and this is, this is my gateway. <laughs> Rent. I thought I would quickly check in. Today is an editing day, so just trying to make it through the monumental amount of footage that I filmed the other day. And I have also just been pulling myself out of a little bit of a spiral, which happens sometimes, but I got myself up this morning. Like I have been so tired lately and it kind of gets to the point where you just have to think like, you need to do something about this because uh this is not normal like, i'm sleeping for like 12 hours at the moment and i am so exhausted all the time like there's there's a there's a balance that my body has not got right at the moment so i went to boots this morning got myself some stuff went for a walk have eaten good food done all the things and i can kind of feel myself like starting to pull myself out of my like spiral like i was I am struggling, like I'll talk to you in the next video, but I'm struggling health-wise. It's kind of having a knock-on effect on my mental well-being as well because I, I have all of the want in my brain to do things stuck in the body of a, of a person that just can't really do very much at the moment. So um, yeah, I'm kind of like taking today to just crack on with my work, but also to just really take care of myself and like just start practically like pulling myself out of this situation that I am in where my body just isn't feeling right. And 
I was just kind of hoping it would ride itself out and it's not riding itself out. So yeah, today is like, okay, we need to do something about this because you can't keep sleeping for like 12 hours. It's actually, it's just very unproductive at this point, which I would argue it's good to listen to your body, but I don't think it's normal for me. I've never needed 12 hours of sleep. Ne like that is not, I would have to be severely overworking myself and like running myself into the ground to need 12 hours of sleep. Like that's something I used to do like once a week on a Friday. At the end of a working week, I'd get a good 12 hour sleep and then I'd be perfect on Saturday. But yeah, every day needing 12 hours of sleep, that is not normal for me. So yeah, today's been day one of me pulling myself back up again. <laughs> Fingers crossed, it's all uh, uphill from here. Is it uphill from here or downhill from here? Can someone please tell me? Cause downhill, obviously walking downhill sounds easier, but I feel like when you say it's all downhill from here, that that's not a good thing. So that is all I have to report today, other than the fact that I have so many deliveries. I'm doing a spring wedding guest dress edit. I always go to say wedding dress edit, and then I'm like, you are not getting married, calm yourself. But yeah, spring wedding guest dress edit is like starting to really, uh, thicken up now like I've got a lot of the items that I needed they're all kind of starting to arrive which is really great so it means I can film that soon so that will be live in well this month I'm so excited they're literally like my favorite videos to film and I'm sad that I can't really film one every week that is all I have on this fine Wednesday afternoon so I will check back in with you tomorrow Good morning, everybody. Wow, I look like I'm about to cry, that's cool. Um, my eyes are just really watery this morning. I am feeling a little bit more human than I did the other day. I took a day to just kind of like regroup and I feel like the vitamins specifically that I am might actually be helping because I still feel like I'm not quite here in my brain and like speaking is hard but physically I this is the first day that I haven't really felt the need to like fall asleep in the middle of the day and it's not because I'm oversleeping because everyone just goes oh but you know you know when you're like you sleep for too long and then you're a bit sleepy I'm like I'm not a bit sleepy I am like my body can't carry on and I I used to work in a job when I was younger where I would be standing for nine hours a day. Like I know the different types of tires. I have been feeling like my body just, something it really isn't right. But I had a feeling it might be iron levels and I know I should go and get blood tests and blah, blah, blah. But you know, I can't carry on like this. I can barely get through the week. So I thought I'd give it a go. It's definitely helping me. Why are we so bright? I think it might also be a combination of like the cold that has been going around that literally everyone has. Some people it's like, there's a, I think there's a flu and there's a cold. And I think I had the little cold and um, it's just still, still lingering. So that's probably not helping either. But anyway, um, I am feeling slightly better today, though still just like mentally struggling a little bit. So um, yeah, I'm really glad this video, I made a smart decision in just like talking to you about clothes and things this week because um, I have zero personality. Does anyone else get that? Like you just hit a point in the month where you just don't have a personality because I really, really struggle with that and um, really not ideal when your online presence is like personality driven and you don't have any. But anyway, that's why we have makeup. And on that note, I have a new palette that I've been trying out. This is the NARS Orgasm Rising Eyeshadow Palette. And I am so in love with this shade here. I thought it was going to be a bit too warm for me. It's not. It's stunning. It's like the perfect everyday, not even really there neutral shade like it doesn't look like I have eyeshadow on so perfect for like a no makeup makeup kind of day uh not that I will be doing that today because I tried doing that yesterday and I just felt like a potato I am just not a no makeup makeup girly I am one of those people that wears makeup to the gym so I love that palette but um switching back very quickly to my other NARS palette the Stargazer one I I exclusively use it 
for this shade and this shade down here i love um it's like a contoury shade on my eye i kind of want to add a tiny bit of this to my inner corner there's so many cute shades in this palette i think i am gonna end up traveling a lot with this one and on my lips so far i just have some of this this is the givenchy uh rose perfecto in the shade 001 and i just dab a little bit because you can make your lips go quite um like a rosy pinky ready tone with this but i just dab a little bit on for like the glossiness and it kind of brings a little bit more color back to my lips and it's so pretty so loving that loving all the pink things at the moment spring has sprung apparently i mean not physically because it's freaking freezing like dragging myself out for walks this week has been incredibly tough because it's just so cold honestly i know i use this all the time and you're probably bored of seeing it but i have to say this if i haven't before nars laguna bronzer this is the it girl of the makeup world this is so good it used to break me out and weirdly it doesn't anymore uh but i am obsessed with it it just adds the perfect like definition to my face like i put it on and i'm like oh everything just looks right so yeah having a little nars loving moment apparently they're like their stuff is doing good things for my face as is this still obsessed with the Givenchy powder i try not to talk about things the same things too much because uh someone a few videos back was like please stop it's so annoying seeing the same products all the time just show us what's new but i do feel like when something's good like i need to tell you that it's good because if i just mention something once and that i like it it's like but did you really like it but like if i really like something i feel like i have to tell you and this powder is very deserving of one of those moments because oh, it's, it makes my skin like did you just saw what just happened like it just makes my skin look flawless the best powder that i have ever 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 used uh, I don't think I can be without it now, so actually no one go and buy it because if I can't get my hands on this I will scream. The blush as well, if you want to get like that kind of Instagram makeup girly look, I, I swear that blush like gives that kind of like Kylie Jenner, Hailey Bieber blush look where it's like really diffuse, but with zero technique, with zero TikTok hacks needed, it just is perfect i'm kind of addicted to it but um i actually don't want to look super super blushy <laughs> and i always look super blushy when i use this because i can't stop myself it's just beautiful but we are just gonna do a tiny amount why am i whispering it just kind of takes a lot of the texture away i'm honestly oh no i don't want to go too far hmm? yeah it really like takes it really like knocks the texture out and it also gives like a brightness it's really really beautiful just adding some lip liner and then we are ready to get on with the day okay let's get dressed could do like a blue shirt and then train it yeah i'm gonna go with that oh my god no hold the phone ryan literally just reminded me that this arrived he was like, this is literally such a big box for how light it is. Um, and I immediately knew what it would be. I got so much wear out of my Loewe tank top that I thought it would be a great purchase to have in white. This one's slightly different to the other one that I have. The other one is more of a like nylon kind of sportswear active wear type material whereas this one is a ribbed knit it has this patch on the back which is interesting so it's got the ribbed knit and then it goes into this that's kind of that's interesting i don't i don't answer anyway but i like the rib knits a little bit more they just feel a bit more better quality i don't know um but actually this would go perfectly with the trousers and the shirt so we're gonna try this on i got this one in a medium i think but i also have ordered it in a small so if this one isn't the right size then the small is on the way like that's a look right anyway enough chat let's get dressed okay i think i could maybe do with the small because this gapes like a lot more than it does on my black one or it's a lot more obvious i don't feel like it's as obvious with my black one just popped a zara one on it and in all fairness, the fit of them is 
a star. I think this is such a nice like spring outfit, but you can still wear it in winter. You just bung a coat on. Even like an oversized black coat would just look really nice um, over the top of this. But like a relaxed, oversized, really big like wool coat, really, really lovely. And also I forgot that these are so easy to roll up um, because they're like a weird material. They're kind of like almost like a leather trouser like that's how you've got to think about them in terms of texture because of that they're actually really easy to roll up and because they are skinnier so easy to like keep rolled up they don't slip down uh, which is goals because they are so long on me um, and then i've just paired them with some like chunky oversized like dad trainers i think these are from axel arigato and the zara uh what is this called uh tank top and then the shirt is also from Zara as well. I've got a little silver necklace on from Monica Vinida. My sunnies are Celine. So that is my outfit of the day. What do we think of the silver trousers? Do you hate them or rate them? Do you like them more now that you've seen them start up for daytime? Because that bomber jacket like evening outfit, when I'm looking back at the footage, I'm like, this does not translate well. Or I'm not sure that it did anyway, but I felt great in it in the moment. And that's the most important thing. <laughs> sleepy this morning i ended up getting up in the middle of the night after ryan got back from his show and chatting with him whilst he made a sandwich was it even a, no it wasn't a sandwich it was like we didn't have any bread so it didn't end up being a sandwich it was like steak and scrambled tofu and was it rice i did tell him to get hangover food in advance did he listen no but we are going out tonight and so i need to decide what to wear but i've just been momentarily distracted by this parcel. This is the last of last weekend shopping. And I'm blaming this on the fact that I had to link my Marge cardigan uh, in the last info box. And I saw another Marge cardigan that I had wanted last summer and not bought because it was kind of pricey and I already had my pink one. But I found it on the outnet along with my Marge cardigan that I already had. So this is a very like spring colored cardigan. This is not an autumnal cardigan. But it's literally the cutest thing I've ever seen. <gasps> Do we think? I feel like sometimes I give you guys whiplash with my style choices. It's either like goth girly or like summer Barbie and there is just no in between and I'm so sorry. It is so cute. <laughs> I think now that my hair is darker I can pull off stronger colors a little bit more oh my god it's the cutest thing i've ever seen i need to show you in full i feel like these are little alpacas or llamas or something like that and i just i think it's adorable um i think it would look especially nice with the loewe kind of jeans loewe top that kind of duo it would look very cool i just think it's so cute and i really wanted it um last summer and i still love it now so i thought it was the perfect time to buy it seeing as it was on sale i got it in a size is the size on here no okay a one. Oh, i don't know what that is i don't know but i got it in a size one i actually think colorful cardigans are one of the best transitional pieces for me because i need to be warm and cozy but i want to feel like spring summery and especially given the fact that apparently as this video goes live the temperature in the uk is about to fully plummet and we might even have snow uh, as we come into spring i think this could be such a good piece to have in my wardrobe it's bringing the spring vibes but it's not like spring material if that makes sense but i will still get wear of it through spring and summer like in the summer i would probably end up wearing this in the evenings you know some days when it just gets really chilly and you need to like have something on so i can still get wear of it then as well so i think it has the potential to get a lot of wear but yeah i'm just really like second guessing myself now so let me know what you think but anyway i need to go and get ready for this evening good morning everybody i have run out of time for this week's vlog this video needs to go live so this is where i'm going to be leaving you slightly hungover on my sofa um but thank you so much for joining me for this week's vlog and i hope you don't mind me just showing you everything i bought this week in vlog format because I have had like next to no personality this week and it's been a hard week um, but I'm feeling a lot better now so fingers crossed next week I will be 
back to normal but let me know what you thought of everything that i purchased in the comments let me know what you think i should keep or return oh also i didn't get to show you last night's outfit by the time i was ready it was so dark and i was wearing an all black outfit and you just can't see that so i'm gonna pop a little photo here but i loved this outfit i will pop links to everything that i'm wearing uh in what is, what is that called the info box um the jeans especially i love and they were such a steal i think I got them on sale and they would honestly they were so cheap they're like they look like a jean but they're actually more like a trouser slash thin jean i'm obsessed with them i hope you're all having a lovely weekend and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye